is Asa Christensen. I'm a coffee writer from Denmark. Uh, I have my own blog called thecoffeechronicle.com. Today we're going to talk about the AeroPress. Everybody loves the AeroPress. It's a fun way to brew coffee. It's really easy and uh, you can have some very tasty brews. So today I'm going to show you five different ways you can improve your AeroPress and hopefully get that bit more like consistent flavor every time you brew. When the AeroPress came out, uh, there was kind of like this rumor that you don't really need to clean it. It's kind of like it's cleaning itself because you press it down, the plunger will kind of like uh, get, get all the excess oils, the excess coffee grounds out. You just kind of like rinse it off uh, under the sink. And while that's okay to do like once in a while, if you do it for several months, your AeroPress is uh, gonna end up more filthy than you realize. So I would say the first thing to do if you wanna make sure you have a good AeroPress is focus on the cleaning. There's especially this one area where people tend to forget uh, is that you can actually take off the gasket, gently pull it off here on the side, and then underneath here, you'll often find that there's some kind of like coffee oils, you can even smell it. So if it smells like a little bit rancid, you probably want to, to give it a good rinse. Uh, what I like to do is uh, don't use detergent. Instead, just uh, take some nice hot water in a bowl, add some baking soda, and then you take your AeroPress apart and then use a brush to rinse it off. So once you've taken off the gasket, uh, rinsed it one time, you're, you're good to go. Just put it on like this again. Uh, you might have to twist it a little bit and boom, there, you're ready. And one thing I will say is if you haven't cleaned the gasket for years and it's starting to look like old and really dirty, you can buy a new one. It's cheap, you can get it from the official stall. So that's tip number one, make sure your AeroPress is clean because if it's just a little bit dirty, some of that dirt will get into your cup and it's not going to taste as good as it could. So clean your AeroPress. So the, the second thing I want to, to tell you guys about how to brew better AeroPress is that uh, the filtration is important in coffee brewing. So a paper filter will always affect the flavor of the cup. One thing I've found and many other people are starting to realize when they brew the AeroPress is that instead of just using one filter, you can actually add a second one. And that's gonna give you a lot cleaner cup it's gonna take out some more oils, it's gonna make the cup more like uh, transparent, more smooth. The paper filtration actually makes a big difference uh, when you brew coffee. It's the same when you brew Hario V60 versus the Chemex. It's the paper filter changes a lot of the particles that get into the final cup. So it's the same with the AeroPress. If you add an extra filter, you're gonna have more clarity in the cup. The cup is gonna taste more like a pour over coffee. It seems like a weird thing when you first hear it, but actually using uh, two filters will most likely improve your cup quite a lot. One thing I will say is that if you're worried about this being expensive in filters, then just uh, reuse your filter. After you brew, take it out, just treat it as one filter. They're gonna kind of like stick together, like rinse it under the sink, and then you put it in, let it dry, and then you're good to go. And you can do this two to three times, so. In the end, it's not going to be more expensive than filters. You'll have better clarity in the cup. So I definitely recommend you use two filters when you brew with the AeroPress. The next thing I want to talk about is uh, the water. Water is something most people never really think about when they brew coffee because it's just so obvious, you know, like uh, everybody can boil water. But the problem is most people don't live a place where they have very good tap water. Usually the water will be too hot, too soft. It will have like some kind of like off flavors. So unless you're really lucky, you will probably have to filter your water with a filter pitcher, buy bottled water, or mix your own water. Uh, one thing I really like to do is just get like a reverse osmosis water, which is water that has been cleaned, so there's almost no minerals in it, and then add uh, minerals. You can buy pre-mixed minerals specifically for coffee, it's called uh, third wave water, it's easy to find online. And just try to mix it in to the reverse osmosis water. Try it a few times. I know you might be skeptical, but uh, trust me, it makes a huge difference. Like once you've tried coffee brewed with really good water a couple of times, most likely you don't want to go back to your tap water. So my fourth tip is uh, when you're about to plunge the AeroPress, a lot of people, they kind of like assume that the harder you press, the, the more flavor you'll get out of the coffee. And uh, while that's true with uh, something like espresso, with AeroPress, it's not like that. 
Actually, you want to press softly to really make sure that uh, you only get like nice clean flavors. So what I like to do is just like place one hand and then the other one on top and then kind of like just let gravity do the hard work. So it should take around 60 seconds to press down the arrow press. And uh, if it takes longer than that, don't worry, it's okay. It just adds a bit of uh, nuance to the flavor and improve the extraction. Actually, when you press slow, all the coffee goes out through the paper filter, but if you press hard, the coffee will go out through the sides. There's some small holes there. If you want a clean and smooth coffee, you definitely don't want to press hard. Uh, all it's going to do is create like some silt and, and unpleasant flavors in your cup. So the last uh, tip I kind of want to share with you is that you might have noticed I'm not brewing into a cup. Actually, I'm brewing into a range server here. And the reason for that is it actually uh, improves the brewing a lot. The reason is, when you brew into a server like this, you can kind of like swirl around the cup and uh, it will take a lot of the heat from the, from the brewing. And then you pour it over into your cup you're gonna drink from and it will kind of like mix up the liquid and uh, aerate it a little bit. Also, at the same time, it's gonna bring down the temperature a lot. So uh, my final tip for you is to always brew into a server of some kind and then pour it over into a separate cup for drinking. This is just going to give you that nice temperature right away and make sure that the liquid is well mixed, well aerated. So those are my five AeroPress tips. I think they will help you make more consistent, more delicious AeroPress coffee. It doesn't take much effort to do these things and uh, it's gonna help your cup improve a lot. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope you uh, could take something away and uh, cheers and well-extracted coffee.